today we are going to start here. We're going to chat about some things and we are going to end up here. It's going to be one heck of a ride. So strap yourselves in. <laughs> Welcome to LEV Toys. So we are going to start here. Let's start by talking about Andrea's house, which woot, finally Andrea gets a house. We have waited for years, just the last of the Lego friends to get her own house in Lego form. And it's lovely. But you know, I'm going to renovate it, right? There was no way that wasn't going to happen. These top floors here are detachable so that you can access the bottom levels. And yeah, we're going to mess with this, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I say I think. I knew we we're going to mess with this. And I'm looking forward to it. In fact, I have so many plans, including something we are all very aware of by now. The parents never get rooms in these houses. So currently Donna and Martin, they get to choose either balcony or the garage as their sleeping area of choice. They could even like sleep under the under the grapevine if they want to. <laughs> yeah, no. We are gonna build them a parents' bedroom, don't worry. We will fix that. Now, I also take issue with this bedroom situation. Andrea and Liz have a bunk bed and they share a room. They share a room like since when? In the TV series. They certainly don't share a room. This room has barely any furniture in it. It's got almost nothing of Liz's personality. We do know quite a bit of Liz's personality from the TV show. And this is like, we've got bunk beds and we've got a chest of drawers. Not good enough. We're going to fix that. Each of these girls is going to get their own bedroom. And I say all these things so confidently, we have to fit all this in. However, still not finished yet. I'm not finished with my like, grandiose plans. <laughs> this lounge room is not big enough for a family of four. It like, let's try this out, shall we? This will be fun, she said. So let's see if we can get everyone to fit in here. We've got Martin sitting in the big chair and the lamp keeps getting bumped and, and drooping down. We'll put Andrea here and look, we are now entirely out of room for Liz. So where's she gonna, she could stand on the coffee table. She could sit on her dad's lap every single time they have to watch TV. She has to sit on someone's lap. Well, that'll be fun, right? No, uh-uh, let's make it bigger. Let's make that bigger. Let's make this one bigger. Let's add more rooms. Let's build it to the moon. Okay, I totally can't do that, but I do have plans. So many plans. Now, I've, I've taken the whole family out because I want to have another discussion, a wee discussion, a, a little discussion. Um, micro discussion, if you will, about micro dolls. Now, micro dolls were introduced last year as the Disney princess storybooks. They've just been introduced this year in the Lego friend sets, but I have issues with this Liz micro doll. And the issue is she looks as though she's like two or three or four, five at the most. And the Liz in the TV show looks as though she's I mean, what, like nine or 10? Uh, and she's wearing something that she never wears. We have never seen her wear a yellow dress. It's totally not her style. And even though I love micro dolls, they are really kind of useless. Ah, I mean, once you get past the cute factor, they can't do anything. They have no articulation. They can't hold anything except for random tiny pin things that make absolutely no sense. Like fire, for instance. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. So good that you can hold the fire. That's actually irresponsible. Let's take those out of the toddler's hands. <laughs> so now would be a good time to talk about some of the disparities between minifigures and mini dolls. So to do this, let me bring in my trusty display, which I made specifically for the purposes of this video. We're going to talk about the minifigure verse and the mini doll verse. So starting in the minifigure verse, let's go from baby up. So minifigures use the same baby figure as mini dolls, which is very handy. Next up, we've got the little kid minifigure with the fixed little legs. These guys cannot sit, they cannot bend, and they cannot kick a ball. So we've got now a kid version with little legs too, but these guys are bendy. Woo! Exciting. Then we have the normal size minifigure, which can work for either teenager, adult, or for elderly. So we've got a teenager Harry Potter here. We've got Harry's dad, who are all the same size. <laughs> and for our elderly figure, I found this guy who is completely from the wrong fandom. <laughs> but that's okay. You'll be okay. He'll ha he's gonna totally enjoy hanging out in the Potter world and the Potter universe. Now, moving into the mini doll world, we're gonna go backwards. So we finally have got an old, like a granddad, a granddad. So granddads and the full-sized mini dolls 
are all the same size. So we've got a granddad, we've got a mum, and we've got a teenager, which is what I assume the Lego Friends girls are. I mean, they drive cars and they run businesses. And all of these mini dolls have different torso moulds so that you can easily differentiate between older and younger characters. So woot Lego. However, we have a gap here. We don't have a comparable mini doll for little bendy legged Harry. So the next place down would be where we could put our micro doll and kind of yeah and then of course we've got the babies same in both universes oh babies are the same wherever you are okay right I'm gonna fix this gap here and to do that we're going to use Liz because I think Liz is not four or five years old in the TV series she looks like this I mean she looks Somewhere between eight and ten, I think. She could be a little bit older, she could be a little bit younger, but she's full of sass. She is incredibly eloquent. There's no way that she is a toddler. So we're going to make a kid doll, and we're just going to keep this picture here for our reference. So to make this, we're going to cut up a mini doll. We've done this before, we're going to do it again. So I need some purple pants, and I'm going to use this top and I actually would have preferred to use one of the younger boy torsos for this just so that it looks a little bit a little bit younger but I don't have enough of them to cut into so we're going to use this so if you haven't seen this before I'm going to put a little link up in the top but for those people who aren't going to click that link I'll give you a bit of a descriptor I'm going to make her legs shorter by cutting a segment out and I'm going to make her torso shorter as well by cutting a segment out her arms are going to be fine they look they look a bit long but they don't look ridiculously long. Oh, look, here we go. Here's a recap on the original one that I took a video of. I haven't videoed this one. So we grind off the torso, part of the torso. We chop off feet. It's incredibly barbaric. It's not really. They're just dolls. <laughs> and it's fun. And actually, that sounds a little bit crazy. And then we glue. So we cut, we grind, we glue. And then we cry and swear a little bit because they actually glue together lopsided or fully backwardsy. But this then turns into oh yeah and then we paint forgot about that let's get in <laughs> so many things let's let's find out how she looks once we're finished so here are her new little legs here's our reference picture again i've had to paint her legs because they were the wrong color and her white socks the white paint is just horrifying so the socks look a bit uh wrinkly which i mean socks socks are wrinkly so i think that totally works and ground off her torso to make it shorter and painted her her pink cardigan with the blue stripes well the blue edging and her little white buttons and i also gave her the are you the green friendship band the green bracelet that she wears in everything she's always wearing this so this is her signature outfit so now she is littler she's going to be shorter than Andrea but she is not a toddler anymore she's a little kid and let's see what she looks like with the micro doll micro doll face it looks okay it looks a little bit as though it's lacking something maybe because it's designed to be on a littler body it just doesn't quite suit it but I'm not sure let's try something I mean Liz has got like she's got a massive personality she is full of sass she she's not backwards and coming forwards she is just she's she's fantastic and I just don't know that I have a face that properly suits that I don't know I don't know that this one works either but it's got a bit more personality than the little micro doll one which is just very cute and sweet and she's totally not cute and sweet that is <laughs> not descriptors you would call Liz anyway tell me in the comments what you think tell me whether you think that I should use the micro doll face for Liz or whether I should try a different one this is the one I don't even know whose head this belongs to I can't remember but I think it works okay it works okay it certainly makes her look a little bit older than a toddler so here we go I filled that gap we've got a shorter mini doll with bendy legs who can hold stuff just like the comparable Harry in the mini figure verse so yay and I want Lego to do a real one of these oh and I want a pony but we can't always have everything we want but we can dream right now <laughs> I do want you to tell me in the comments which face you prefer for Liz as a sassy little kid and we'll 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 go with that now I forgot something I forgot that minifigures actually have a baby like another baby form it's definitely not a toddler yet so it kind of goes in between here <laughs> and I've just totally messed up my beautifully lined up theory of stuff between mini dolls and minifigures 
<laughs> so we're just gonna swap pants around. I'm gonna distract you with head swapping and pretending it's for science. Yeah, look at those. <laughs> that is hilarious though. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I found that baby figure because, yeah, I think my, my day wouldn't have been complete if we hadn't have actually ended this video exactly like this. It just makes it perfect, I think. It's perfect. What are we talking about? I have no memory. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. So subscribe, like, comment, come back later. Do all the things. Do come back though to see if I find my mind because I appear to have lost it. Okay, see you, bye.